Rovers midfield and Dennis Bailey, a striker from Crystal Palace, is also borrowed for the next month. Bailey's work there led to Gary Penrice being provided with scope for an acrobatic scoring attempt. Acrobatics plus a superb change of direction by Rovers goalkeeper there rescued them. Slow motion will show just how good a save that was by Nigel Martin against the former England under-21 striker. Rovers were to go ahead after Ian Alexander placed a centre that Penrice flicked on for new man Bailey to score. That's a smart header, isn't it? Certainly that calibre of alert anticipation and reflex scoring could do Rovers a lot of good in the next four weeks. Happy moments indeed then for home fans without a goal from the previous three matches. In the second half, with Phil Pennell often penetrating, Rovers ought to have increased their lead, but never did. So finally Reading were able to rescue a draw in the last four minutes. Rovers fell for the old 1-2 return pass trick for Carl Elsie to score neatly. Reading's followers celebrated. Their team had denied Rovers a climb back into the promotion bracket.